Welcome back. We've got video number five. Today, our goal of the day. Given the equations of two lines, you will be able to de determine if they are parallel, perpendicular, or if the lines are going to intersect at an angle other than 90 degrees, which means they're neither parallel nor perpendicular. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, before we talk about parallel and perpendicular, I do want to review two special lines, and those are horizontal lines and vertical lines. Now, a horizontal line, lines that have a slope of zero, their equations are y equals a number. So an example would be y equals negative seven, y equals five, y equals four. To clarify, or just to make sure that we have that, we can always go in our calculator, go to y equals, and type in negative seven, and then we hit graph. And I see that I get that horizontal line straight across my screen. So it's always gonna be y equals a number, the slope is zero. Now, vertical lines. Vertical lines are lines that have an undefined slope. So they are undefined. Their equations are x equals a number. Okay, so vertical line, x equals a number is gonna go straight up and down. So for instance, x equals six, x equals five, x equals negative two. Now, if we wanted to verify this in the calculator, if we go to our graphing calculator, so we're gonna look at our graphing functions, there's no x equals. So the calculator cannot graph x equals a number, and that's because x equals a number, a vertical line is not a function. It fails the vertical line test because if I draw a vertical line through a vertical line, it touches at every single point. So these are the lines that the calculator cannot do. Okay, so now that we've reviewed those, let's take a look at parallel and perpendicular lines. So parallel lines, we know parallel lines are two or more lines that never intersect their equations have the same slope. So here's an example of two parallel lines. If these lines were to go on forever and ever, they would never intersect. They're going in the same direction because they have the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope. So let's take a look at an example. If I were to give you the line y equals negative two over three x plus four, Okay, what would be the equation of a parallel line? Well, we know it has to have the same slope, so I have to take the same slope and I have to bring it straight down. So that would be negative 2 thirds x. And then we would go plus or minus. Now we can be any line. It can't have the same intercept. It has to be some other intercept, so I'm going to pick 8. Okay, these would be parallel lines because they have the same slope. Okay, now let's take a look at perpendicular lines. So lines are perpendicular, okay, that means two lines that intersect to form 90 degree angles. Now in a picture we say 90 degree angles or we show it by putting in a little right angle symbol. Okay, now their equations, to know that two lines are going to be perpendicular, their equations are going to have a negative reciprocal slope. So let's take a look at that. So if I start with the line y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4, a perpendicular line, so I have to take this slope, and now I have to make it a negative reciprocal. So remember, reciprocal is where you flip it. And then we're going to have to negate it. Now it's already a negative, so what's a negative negative? A positive so my new slope would be 3 over 2 x plus 4 so these are negative reciprocal slopes okay let's try one more example so let's say I gave you y equals and let's go 3 over 5 x minus 2 okay so now our perpendicular line so we're gonna take this slope now you need to think, I need the negative reciprocal, so this is positive, so our new one would have to be negative. Reciprocal means you have to flip it, so this is going to be 5 over 3 x, and then you would just pick a y-intercept plus 4. And now we have perpendicular lines. Okay, so let's put it all together. Let's practice graphing and determining if our lines are parallel and perpendicular. So here we go. 
If I take a look at my very first problem set, it says graph the following lines. So my first one is y equals negative 2. Now let's say for a moment we forgot what this is supposed to look like. I can always take my calculator. If it's y equals, I can go to my calculator, hit the y equals button, clear it out, and then I'm going to hit negative 2, and then hit graph. Okay, and now I remember it's that nice horizontal line across my screen. So I'm going to go down to negative 2. So on the y-axis, go down to negative 2, and then it's all of these points here. So this is y equals negative 2. Now let's take a look at x equals negative 6. So if y goes this way, x equals is going to have to go up and down. So I'm going to go to negative 6 on my x axis and draw my line. Now before we move any further, I'd like you to please look at the relationship between x equals negative 2, I'm sorry, y equals negative 2, x equals negative 6. What's the relationship between these two lines? Are these parallel? Are they perpendicular? Or do they intersect at an angle other than 90? Well, we can tell they are perpendicular. So these would be perpendicular lines. So whenever you have an x equals a number and a y equals a number, they're going to be perpendicular lines. Okay, let's go ahead then and try x equals 4 and y equals 3. So x equals 4, I'm going to go over here, and there's my 4, so I'm going to draw my line. x equals means it's going to be vertical. x equals 4. Now, let's take a look at these two lines. x equals negative 6, x equals 4. What do you notice about the relationship between these two lines? These two lines are going to be parallel because they're going in the same direction. All right, and the last one, y equals 3. We know y equals is a horizontal line, so it's going to go straight across our screen. y equals 3. And we've got it. Okay, let's flip the page over now, and let's practice determining if our lines are parallel, perpendicular, or if they intersect at an angle other than 90, which means neither, and this is the symbol for parallel, nor, and that's the symbol for perpendicular. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So I have y equals 5x minus 10, and y equals negative x over 5 plus 6. So if I take a look here, the slope of my first line, the number in front of the x is 5 over 1. The slope of my second line is negative 1 over 5. So now we have to make our decision. Are those slopes exactly the same? Nope, so they can't be parallel. Are they negative reciprocals? Is one positive, one negative? And did we flip it? Yep, so these would be perpendicular. Oops, perpendicular. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look at number two. Now, number two, these are not in y-intercept format, so we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. So let's go ahead and make these both y equals. So go ahead, I'm going to have you pause for a second, and then change them to standard notation. Okay, so if we transpose some of those numbers around, we end up with y equals 2x plus 5, y equals 2x plus 6. So for the first line, our slope is 2. And for the second line, the slope is 2. So if they have the same slope, what's the relationship? Yes, they are indeed going to be parallel because they have the same slope. Okay, let's take a look now at number 3. <clears throat> we have x equals 5 and y equals negative 6. Okay, well, one's x equals a number, one's y equals a number. So that means this line is a vertical line. This line is a horizontal line. So this is our these are our special lines, so you need to think, what's the relationship if you have a vertical line and a horizontal line? Those would indeed be perpendicular. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look then at number four. So we first have to make sure we're in y-intercept form, so I'm going to divide everything by three. So I get y equals x over three plus four. And this one's already in the correct format. So now let's determine our slopes. So the slope of the first line 
Now there's no number in front of the x, so there's really a one, so the slope is one third. And the slope of my second line, look in front of the x, is a positive three. So if we look carefully at those slopes, are those exactly the same? Nope, so they can't be parallel. Are they negative reciprocals? Well, they're reciprocals, but is one positive and one negative? Nope, so they cannot be perpendicular, which means they intersect at an angle other than 90. So they're not perpendicular and they're not parallel. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to have you pause the video and I'm going to have you try number five on your own. All right, so let's take a look. Did you get y equals 1 half x plus 5, y equals negative 2x plus 3? So our slopes are 1 half and negative 2, which means they are perpendicular. All right, let's take a look at number 6 here. So y equals negative 2 and y equals 4. So remember, these are both horizontal lines because it's y equals a number. So they're going to go straight across your screen. Okay, just like that if you were to put it in the calculator, which means they would be parallel. They're going in the same direction. Okay, so we're going to come down to the bottom now. I'm actually going to have you skip number seven. We're going to do an activity like that in class tomorrow. And I'd like you all to take a look at number eight. A line contains the points five, six, and negative four, three. Another line contains the points one, two, and ten, five. Determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, well, we know lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Lines are perpendicular if they have negative reciprocal slopes. Now, if I go here, I don't know what either one of these slopes are. I have just points. But if we remember from our lesson two days ago, we learned the slope formula, which is change in y over change in x. So we're going to have to find the slope for both of these sets of points. So I'm going to take care of these two first, and then I'm going to put these two together. I'm going to calculate their slopes and then determine if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, so I'll help you out with the first one. So remember, change in y. So x, y, x, y. So this is going to be 6 minus 3, 5 minus negative 4, which then is going to give us 3 all over 9, which is reduced to 1 third. Okay, I'd like you to find the second slope and make the decision on what the relationship is. So let's see, did you get a slope of one third? And if their slopes are the same, that means they are parallel. All right, nice job, everyone. See you in class tomorrow.